Welcome back to the Suit Social channel in another episode. I'm Darren Cabral. I'm the CEO of Suit Social. We help businesses build their brand, generate leads, and get more clients online. And today we are talking about the construction industry and how you, if you're in that, can use social media marketing to build your brand, get more leads, um, and ultimately get more customers. Partially because I think you're doing a very bad job of it. Before you get really upset at me, um, again, not trying to upset anyone, it comes from a place of love, I promise. Um, I really do want to help. My family's actually been involved in the construction industry um, for a long time. It's been something that's very kind of close to home, close to my heart. And because I happen to own a digital marketing agency and that's my business, I can't help but be critical of the stuff they're doing and especially the opportunities they're missing. But chances are, if you're here, you already know that and you're someone who is a lot more forward thinking and you're trying to level up your construction company's marketing efforts and take advantage of some of the newer technology um, and use social media to your advantage. Let's talk about some of the things that you can use in terms of social media and how you can strategize to get more out of these platforms to actually move your business forward. Because I doubt you care about likes and clicks and following. I'm pretty sure the thing you want is leads. You want customers reaching out and clients reaching out with projects, um, big or small, whatever industry you're in. Let's talk about how you can do a much better job of doing that on social media, how you can stand out on social media, and just the overall strategy that construction companies like yours should be using in 2022 to actually get that result. So let's dive right in. First of all, the biggest mistake I've seen with construction companies when they try to start marketing is really on the business kind of structure side. So let's start there. A lot of construction companies are very general, especially when it comes to like general contractors. It's literally in the name. The problem with general is it can be difficult to stand out. It's difficult to know what you stand for, who you're speaking to, who your customer is, when it's different every single time. So I'm gonna preface this whole conversation with kind of starting with, if you haven't picked a niche, start thinking about doing so. It makes your marketing easier, it makes your operations easier, it makes your finances easier, it makes hiring easier. It literally makes everything easier about your business. And I don't mean you have to go ridiculously niche like you only paint walls facing west. That's not what I'm getting at. I mean, if you're like, let's say a home builder and your construction you know, industry is already building, what kind of homes? Is it a certain size, a certain area, a certain budget? Um, you know, are you, are you kind of a budget builder that builds whatever? Do you do small multifamilies? Do you do duplexes? Do you do high-end custom homes or $10 million plus? Do you do high-end luxury cottages? What is the thing you wanna be known for? Start thinking about that. And that scares a lot of people because they think, well, then I'm gonna kind of bottleneck myself and then I can only do this one thing or pigeonhole myself, whatever the saying is. And the truth is that's not true at all. Just because you kind of choose to push forward with a niche, it doesn't mean you can't take any other work. So if you push forward as, you know, the premier luxury cottage builder in your local cottage area, um, it doesn't mean that if someone comes to the $10 million house outside of that, you can't do it. You can still make that choice. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. Or if someone comes to you with a large commercial property and they say, hey, can you build my church? I literally had a client do that the other day. Sure, if you think of the capacity, you can still do it. So picking a niche doesn't stop you from doing everything. It just means in terms of focusing your marketing, your branding, your content, your efforts, you're going to focus on that specific target market. It lets you really drill down, speak to someone more directly and get a better result of your marketing. So that's the first thing I want to talk about in terms terms of setting your social media strategy. Once you've sorted through that, whether you choose to do it or not, it comes to actually getting on social media and starting to leverage the platform. So there's two sides of social media you can start using right now in 2022 to actually get a good result from. You have your organic social media, that's posting content, videos, photos, all that fun stuff, and building a community organically. So you're posting it, people see it, they engage, whatever, right? The other side is paid ads. It's one of my favorite sides. Paid ads is running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, whatever, where you're running specific content to specific people and you're paying to get it in front of them. I like that a lot because it's a very like results now method, whereas organic is a long-term play. And ultimately you're going to want to figure out a way to do both. You want to figure a way to build your brand organically long-term, build that community, build that audience, become an authority, a professional in that space. But you also want to be running ads and getting those leads right now. Like you want leads today, tomorrow, this week to drive the business forward. You don't want to wait 12 months. So you have that audience and that clout, right? With organic, let's talk about organic strategy for a second. If you're a construction company trying to build your social media presence organically, like on Instagram, on Facebook, um, the biggest driver, I've said this a hundred times, I'll say it again, is content. You gotta figure out how to produce content in a way that makes sense for you and for your business. Like, if you're not good at being on video or you're not comfortable being on video, don't do video of yourself, right? Either find a team member that maybe wants to take the lead. Maybe don't do people at all. Maybe just do really cool before and after walkthroughs that you like laps together and people can see like that works really well as well. So figure out what kind of content can be good for you. Maybe it's written. Maybe it's just photos, really high end photography, of all the projects. 
It doesn't really matter. Just figure out what content's gonna work for you that provides the value to that customer you're trying to get in front of, right? What do they wanna see? What do they wanna engage with? The beauty of construction is you're in a very visual industry. So it kills me when I see construction companies not producing content because there's such a visual product. Like everyone loves to see beautiful houses, especially before and afters, especially interiors, especially beautiful backyards and views. This is stuff people actually wanna see on social and they look for. So take advantage of that. Don't be afraid to get out there and capture engaging content, whether it's photo, whether it's video, whether it's before and afters, walkthroughs, you, someone on your team, it really doesn't matter. Use that to your advantage because there's a lot of industries that can't do that. Industries like accounting companies, they have a harder time creating fun, engaging content because it's just not a visual industry. You though are in a visual industry being in the construction side, so leverage that. It does great. Figure out what your customers want to see, produce it, and figure out how to produce it on a consistent basis. Work it into your workflow, whether it's you on every job site, and part of that is you capture a bunch of footage before and a bunch of footage after, and you pump that out, or you work it into your team and your guys and your girls that are going out there, and you make it part of their process where they all have a camera as part of their toolkit. They go out, snap some shots, um, or it's a manager, or it's a site super, it's whoever. Or eventually, if you're big enough, you hire a marketing person, and that's their job to go out and do that. But you know, you got to figure out how to get out there and get that content because when it comes to building your social as a construction company, you know, you have to be consistent. You got to be getting in front of that customer every week, multiple times a week. They want to see what you're working on. They want to see behind the scenes. They want to see your project before and afters. So social media organic is great. And the more you do that, the more people get to see your work. They get to see you. They get to see the quality that you produce and they start to trust you. And you become this like trusted authority figure that when they need their next project done, whatever that kind of niche is and whoever you're going after, when that customer needs that next project done, they're gonna think of you. And without ever actually meeting you in person, they know your work, they know what you do, they know what it looks like, they know how you speak, they know where you are, they have all that information and they built a relationship with you. So that's gonna be super, super powerful. And I've seen a handful of construction companies do this very, very well, and I've seen most of them do none of it at all. And I think that's a huge missed opportunity. So from the organic social media perspective, as a construction company, come up with that niche, figure out who you are and who you wanna to speak to, what you wanna sell, what you wanna push, get a good content strategy in place to actually produce that content regularly, get it as part of your workflow, build it in, make sure you're capturing it, and then make sure you're scheduling and posting on a regular basis and getting in front of that community and actually providing that value. It should be all about entertainment, engagement, value, not just selling. The selling will come automatically. The customers will come out of that on their own over time. So that's the organic side. Now, the paid side of social media is a big component. I think every single construction company that can handle more business right now should be running paid ads. There are a lot of customers out there looking for work. There's a lot of people that want certain things done, certain projects that they don't have anyone to call. So they're hitting Google, they're searching, they're trying to filter through all these like websites built in 1990. They don't know who is the company they need to work with. If you can stand out and get in front of that customer during that search, and you can put yourself in front of them on demand by paying for an ad, you're gonna have a big opportunity to capture leads. We do a lot of work um, with different companies from just construction side to painting companies, to garage doors and windows, to all kinds of home services where we're getting in front of clients that need some sort of work done in their home. And you'd be amazed how well these ads work. Ads in the construction, home services space and all that work better than almost any industry because there's never a shortage of people that need stuff done. Um, and it doesn't really matter if you're building homes or you're just doing bathroom renovations or you're doing basements or you're doing landscaping. It doesn't matter. The point is there's a lot of people, there's a lot of homes, there's a lot of demand and there's no really good centralized way. Like sure, there's things like Homestars, um, you know, but how many people are even using that anymore? I don't know. You've probably run ads on Homestars in the past and been upset with the result. It's been getting less and less effective every year. How many people that compete with you in your area are running Facebook ads, getting in front of the perfect customer? Because you can literally say, hey, I'm in, you know, I'm in Calgary or I'm in Miami or I'm in New York and you can run ads 10 mile circle or 10 kilometer circle, depending if you're in the US or Canada, around that city to a specific customer with a specific interest base with a specific offer. It can be a catalog of past work that you've done. It can be a guide, like 10 steps to get the most value out of your bathroom renovation, whatever. It can be just a video of you doing a walkthrough of a recent project. It can be a call to action of you saying, hey, we're looking to work with more clients in this area. They're looking to do X, Y, Z in their home or their product, or whatever. You can create those kinds of ads and put them right in front of your customer and the value of that is massive. And if you really want to level that up, we do something here at Suit Social called acquisition branding, where we really build an advertising funnel. 
and we use ads to do all of the things. We build awareness, we generate leads, and we actually get sales from our ads, from organic and meshing it all together in a really clear funnel. If you wanna see that, there's probably gonna be a link below or you just go to suitsocial.com and you can read all about our strategy and how we do that. There's a big opportunity in 2022 for construction companies like you to take advantage of social media. If you come up with the right game plan, you come up with the right strategy and you put the right people on it. You know, at first you might have to do a lot of this yourself to understand really what it is and get a feel for it. I do encourage that if you have some of the capacity and time, if you don't, you either have to hire a marketing person in house or you're gonna have to hire an agency like us because we can come into a construction company and build out the whole game plan. We can build out a strategy, a content plan. We can help you produce, edit, make all your content, schedule it, post it, build all your ads, do all your lead gen. We can do that for you. And a lot of times if it's a small to medium business and that's kind of the space you're in, it makes more sense to work with an agency like us because basically for the, the price of a part-time or very entry-level full-time employee, you get an entire team of creatives, of strategists, of ad buyers, you get that whole deal for a package price. So it makes a lot of sense. It's hands off, we do everything for you. So that's an option as well. But I do encourage you trying it on your own at first, get the feel for it, understand what you want, understand how this stuff works, um, and then look at outsourcing as you scale because you will get business from this, you will see traction from it, and you're gonna get busy. And so you're gonna wanna hand it off. Um, but I just think construction is just, man, is one of the industries that is just so underutilizing social. And if you can do it, you will stand out you will get a great result and you're gonna be happy that you watch this video. So implement some of this stuff, try it out. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, follow us on social at Suit Social or at Darren Cabral for my personal. Um, and I'm happy to chat with anybody. If you have questions, if you have issues, you have concerns, you try it out, it does work, it doesn't work. I wanna hear from you. Other than that, if this video was valuable at all and you took something away from it, don't forget to like the video below. It really helps us get it out and expand the video to new people and subscribe to our channel because we drop videos literally every single week um, on marketing, social media, and digital. So we'd love to have you here for the next one. Don't forget to tune in, share, like, do all that fun stuff for me. Um, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.